finally, a Die Hard that actually is a Christmas movie. Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. Today I'm going to be talking about the 2022 Christmas action comedy, Violent Night. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for a variety of movie related content like reviews, rank lists, and trailer reactions. All my reviews include a breakdown of the pros and cons, my rating, and some tailored film recommendations, so be sure to watch through to the end of this video for all of that extra content. Violent Night stars David Harbour, John Leguizamo, and Leah Brady, and was directed by Tommy Workola. It tells the story of Santa Claus, played by David Harbour, who takes on a mercenary team holding a family hostage on Christmas Eve. Okay, so first off, I want to apologize for my voice. I randomly lost it a couple days ago, and it's slowly coming back, but I had to get this video out, so we're going with it. I know it probably sounds painful, but it doesn't hurt at all, amazingly, so you can just enjoy me making strange squeaking sounds as we go through this review. I think I'm in the minority, but I have a tendency to not be a huge fan of modern holiday movies. I've got Christmas classics that I love and rewatch every year, like It's a Wonderful Life and The Year Without a Santa Claus, and even slightly newer ones like Home Alone that I really enjoy, largely thanks to nostalgia. But new stuff? It just doesn't usually grab me. Granted, I'm not a huge holiday cheer, Christmas spirit kind of person, so Christmas movies only work for me for like a single week out of the year. So it probably comes as no surprise that holiday movies that kind of subvert the traditional Christmas cheer thing work a little bit better for me. Violent Night is a movie I've had my sights set on since about this time last year, when I was prepping my 2022 review schedule. I was going on the name alone at the time, and having now seen the film, it certainly lives up to that name. Alternative Christmas movies have been around for a while. We've had violent Yuletides, horrific holidays, and Krampus Christmases before. We've had bad Santas, edgy Santas, and everything in between. So a drinking, swearing, sledgehammer toting Santa is nothing new. Okay, well maybe the sledgehammer part is new. The point is, if you're looking for a wholly original concept, this movie isn't going to give you that but it will give you an entertainingly bloody mashup of familiar ideas. It pulls major story elements from Christmas-adjacent films like Die Hard and Home Alone, and it draws upon plenty of Santa lore from countless other Christmas movies. The origins of many of these ideas are easy to trace as you're watching, but that ends up being part of the fun of this movie. It's equal parts cheesy, mawkish Christmas movie, one-liner-filled action movie, and fun action comedy. It's an odd tonal mix that borders on parody at times, but somehow it works. The comedy and Christmas elements are very obvious here, but it's the action that keeps this film dashing through the snow. Or should I say slashing? It is called Violent Night, after all. It takes a little while to get into the violence of the night, but once it does, it's a fun and bloody sleigh ride. Things begin a little humorously on that front, with a very unwilling Santa taking part in the fights, but the creativity and gore ramps up as the film goes on. It's all absolutely ridiculous, of course, but there's something indescribably entertaining about watching a blood-splattered Santa take down mercenaries with all manner of winter-themed makeshift weapons, not to mention a brutal and bloody Home Alone sequence. It's fun to watch, and it's clear that David Harbour was having just as good of a time playing this killer Kris Kringle. The action is the clear highlight of this film, and we do get plenty of it, eventually, but the film has a surprising amount of downtime. Like I said before, it takes a while to get going, which isn't that big of a deal since it uses that time to establish the characters and the scenario, but once the action does kick in, the film frequently grinds to a halt by spending time with the hostage family. The whole unlikable, rich family we don't really care about thing is a little played out at this point, so much of that time would have been better spent with Santa. Downtime doesn't have to be a bad thing, though. The slower Christmas magic discussions between Santa and Trudy were a nice respite from the action, and would have been sufficient for this and would have also saved us from some eye-rollingly unfunny moments with the family. Many of the intentionally told jokes in this film don't land, but that's not to say this movie is without humor. 
There are some decent one-liners, but it's the situational humor that really tops this Christmas tree of mayhem. Violent Night isn't exactly a wholesome Christmas movie, but it is a ridiculous and fun alternative to the traditional holiday film. It might be naughty, but this one still ends up on the nice list this year. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pro number one is the action. Unsurprisingly, this is a very violent movie. It's over the top, but is a whole lot of bloody fun. Quite a bit of the action is fairly comedic, if only from a situational humor standpoint, given that Santa is doing much of the violence dealing, but it's also pleasantly brutal. Additionally, it really leans into the Christmas aspect, making entertainingly creative use of Christmas and winter-related props during many of the action sequences. There are quite a few icicle kills, and some really fun stuff with Santa's magic and his unique backstory within this film. The second pro is the tone. Okay, so this probably won't be a pro for everybody, but I really enjoyed the bizarre mix of tones in this film. It's got this bordering but never quite parody quality to it, really mashing up the Christmas cheesiness with over-the-top one-liner slow-motion action. It was clearly drawing upon the most cliché aspects of both of those genres, in a loving way, and as bizarre as it was, it ended up really working, if you just accepted that it was somehow both a brutal action movie and kind of a heartwarming Christmas story at the same time. On the con side, the biggest issue was the pacing. This movie spends a decent amount of time establishing this scenario and setting up its characters in a very superficial way. It never dives deep into anybody's motivations, so it's not like it was really spending that time as a character study or anything, but it does take a little bit to get going. When things do get moving and the action really kicks in, it gets pretty exciting, except the movie continually pulls back from that action to slow down with this family and the villain scheme. This is understandable, because they want to explain why this is happening, I guess, but for this type of movie, that isn't as interesting or important. You go to a movie like this to see Santa Claus fighting people. It's dumb, but it's true, right? So the frequent cutaways from that and the kind of stop and start pacing ended up being a bit of a detriment through the first two thirds or so of the movie. The second con is the crass humor. So I know how that sounds. It sounds like, oh, she's just offended by it or whatever, but that's not my issue here. Even though it doesn't always work for me, I don't mind crass humor when it fits the situation. And I realize this probably sounds like a movie where that type of humor would work, but the intentionally crass or vulgar things just feel so forced here, especially coming from the villain. The gore and humor related to the action and a lot of the situational stuff is extremely funny. It's just the intentional jokes or the edgy things that are said that just feel a little out of place and really didn't land with me or anybody in my theater. Before I give you my rating and recommendations, I want to remind you that if you're interested in buying Violent Night or any of the other films I mentioned today, I do have affiliate links for all of them in the description below. I get a small commission from anything you buy using one of my links, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd use them if you're in the market for any of these movies. I'm going to give Violent Night three and a half out of five paws. The origins of all of its components may be blatantly obvious, but this still manages to be a fun and bloody ride. The action's brutal, with Santa slashing through the snow, but it's also got a surprisingly sweet Christmas story at its core. I would recommend Violent Night to people who like alternative Christmas movies, or really anybody looking for a fun, over-the-top, bloody action movie. This manages to be both, pulling ideas from Christmas classics and action movies alike, and wrapping them up with a blood-stained bow. If you liked Violent Night, I would recommend Die Hard. Now, I know that many people like to claim that Die Hard is a Christmas movie, but that's not the reason for this recommendation. Instead, it's the plot. This is basically Die Hard with Santa Claus playing the John McClane role. It's also specifically mentioned a few times in this movie. If you like the holiday-themed booby trapping, you've got to check out Home Alone, if you somehow haven't already seen it. Once again, this film makes repeated direct reference to that movie, and also features a much more brutal and bloody Home Alone-style sequence. And if you like the idea of an unorthodox fighting Santa Claus, then you might want to watch Fat Man. 
It's a very dark action comedy that focuses on Santa being haunted by an assassin sent by a spoiled kid as retaliation for being left a lump of coal. All right, a couple questions for you guys. Number one, have you seen Violent Night? If so, what'd you think of it? And number two, what's your favorite alternative Christmas movie? Be sure to leave your answers in the comments below so we can get a discussion going. All right, so if you got some enjoyment, insight, or information out of this review, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe if you're at it to see more videos like this. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies. The way life should be.